Hey guys, David Hayward here, your Naked Pastor. Um, today's talk is about uh, leaving the church and the loss of community. I'm in my car. It's winter, it's cold, <laughs> but it's bright. Um, the loss of community. I'm often asked, what's the thing you miss most about church? And there could be a million things, right? But I'll tell you, the number one thing is the loss of community. And it's true. I mean, when we when we walked away from the church, we walked away from a community. We walked away from friends and uh, we lost almost all our friends. We lost that sense of community. Um, we've, you know, you, there's nothing like it uh, in my experience elsewhere. And we, we had to learn how to make new friends all over again. And it was tough. You know, when you walk into a church, I mean, there's some effort necessary, for, but for the most part, you're handed a whole network of friends Fellowship, community, potlucks, prayer meetings, Bible studies, worship, you know, uh, volunteer stuff. Like there's there's all kinds of, and, and you can assume everybody's basically on the same page and you don't have to, you know, you, you don't feel insecure about weirding people out with your beliefs or whatever. Like community is a big deal. I think I've always said that's the church's greatest asset and it's often the most amuse, abused one as well or misused or underused. Um, so yeah, loneliness. When people walk away from the church, that's one of the greatest things we experience is loneliness. And uh, maybe that's why a lot of people stay in the church or keep going or go back. It's because they can't handle the loneliness. I know. I know all about it. Lisa and I know all about it. We had to learn how to make new friends from scratch. And I'm telling you, as grown-up adults, it's, it's, you know, when it's always been handed to you, basically, uh, it's hard to learn how to do it all over again. You know what? And it's not just a, you know, Christian or ex-Christian thing or ex-churchgoer thing. It, it's an adult problem. I mean, I have a lot of friends who have never gone to church or whatever, and, and they have the same issues of making friends. It's, it's a grown-up issue. So, look, I just want to encourage you guys. Yeah, loneliness is a big deal. You don't want it. You don't want to experience it. Um, but there are ways. Lisa and I, I remember us making the decision we got to make new friends. Let's just start doing it. Let's try to reconcile old friendships, uh, restore old friendships. Let's, you know, when we meet people, let's, you know, if we like them, let's keep trying to get together. And you know what? We've built up, we've built up some friendships now so that, you know, usually when we want to see somebody, when we're free, we can. And sometimes people even reach out to us to get together and it's, and it's cool. So, and, and let's not even start about what happens in the community. I mean, I have a lot of criticisms about church community, how, um, you know, codependent and <laughs> kind of uh, sick it is in many ways, but that's another topic. <laughs> so, and as, so when you're out in the real world making new friends, you know, you have to change your expectations of what that friendship and community and fellowship is going to look and feel like, right? So anyway, I'm with you guys. I love you guys. Uh, I care. I know how tough it is when you leave the church. I know all about loneliness. I've tasted it. I don't like it. Uh, I know what it's like to miss community, but I, I want to hold out hope for you that there are ways to solve that problem and to make new friends. And I'll talk about that at another time, but I get it, guys. Uh, if you're lonely, I understand. Um, and I know how hard it is to make new friends, but you can do it. I did it. Lisa did it. We've done it. Other people are doing it. You can do it too. All right, guys. Love you guys. This is David Hayard, your Naked Pastor. Keep it real. Bye now.